Hi guys. So I was sort of thinking about it and I was looking at the people that I had invited and a lot of them are my friends. And so I think most of you already know my story. And then there was a few people on there that I don't know if who you are. And I thought, oh, I've never met you. And I thought maybe you might like to know a little bit about me. So I thought I'd just do a little um, introduction. So my name is Rebecca Waite. I am 34, turning 35 in about a week's time. And uh, back in 2014, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And at the time, my kids were Oh, but good math. So Claire was about 15 months old and Emily was, so she would have been about four, four and a half, I think, if my math is correct. And I was doing a boot camp because I was trying to keep fit and lose that baby weight because I was feeling a bit frumpy. And I started feeling like I had heavy legs and when I was running I felt really off balance and I sort of thought, oh, you know, what's this all about? So I went to my doctor and he did some little tests where he poked me and had my little hammers and tapped my knee and he said to me, Oh, I'll send you for a CT scan and but I think you'll be fine. I don't I don't think it's and I'm like, What do you think it is? And he's like, Oh well he's a lovely Indian doctor and he <laughs> he's like, Oh, it's it's like there it's not I don't think it is this and I'm like, What do you think it is? And he's like Ah oh, well, it might be MS, and I was like, what the, what's that? I don't, I've never heard of that. What is it? And he goes, oh, but it's one in forty thousand chance, like one in forty thousand chance you have it. And I was still like, well, still, I would like to know what it is. And he, he said it's multiple sclerosis. And at first, I couldn't even pronounce the word, like I couldn't spell it. I had to Google it. And but he did say to me, Rebecca, don't Google it. It's not a very good idea to Google. And so I went and had a few tests, and they came back clear for the CT scan. And then I noticed, he said, oh, look, we'll send you in for an MRI. And I was on the waiting list. And it was only three weeks to wait, which I didn't think was a hell of a long time. And um, so I was still driving. But for those that know me, my husband is in a wheelchair, and we have cars with – both cars have hand controls in them. So I was just driving around with the hand control because I couldn't feel my right foot properly and I just felt more secure using the hand control. And we've been together oh, 15 years and the funniest thing is so I've never ever used his hand control, ever. Like I just never wanted to use it. Never. I, I did remember I used once, we were sitting waiting for somebody in a car park and I said to him, I think I'm just going to have a turn with your hand control. But the funniest thing was my foot, <laughs> I kept putting my foot on the, the the pedals and not using the hand properly. So I wasn't actually like, registering my brain to use my hand and not my legs. But anyway, so <clears throat> for about the three weeks I actually used the um, this guy's hand control in my car. And I got really good at driving with it. And when I went to the doctor to say, look, can I please get one of those parking permits? Because walking from the car to the supermarket's really hard. And once I've got a trolley, I'm okay. But it's it's just getting to and from the car. And my doctor said to me, why didn't you come in earlier? And I said, because I'm still driving. And he's like, well, how are you driving? And I said, well, because I've got a hand control. And, and I suppose now I look back and think, actually, <laughs> a lot of people aren't in my situation where... They, they have a car with a hand control in it. So I didn't think it was a big deal. Anyway, so off he sent me to A&E. And um, that's where I got diagnosed with MS after having... I was there for a whole week. And they you know, they poked and prodded me. I had a lumbar puncture test, which is a very nice. And the MRI was the one that said, yep, you've got loads of little lesions on your spinal cord. So I've got them in my brain, so that's why I constantly have baby brain, and I have them in my neck, up, here, up quite high, so when I get really hot, all of a sudden, I will start coughing uncontrollably, and it's so embarrassing, and it used to be, before I knew that I had MS, it used to be a bit of a running joke that I would choke on my own spit, because I coughed so much, <laughs> that kind of co uncontrollably coughing, where your eyes are watering, and you sound like you're gagging, and so that apparently is an MS thing. And then I've got them further down my back where, um, and so a lot of the time my feeling from my bra line down isn't quite 100%. 
and people say to me, well, how do you still walk? And I said, I don't really know. I can still walk. I just can't feel things properly. So um, I've had a couple of falls where I've been walking. It's almost like my brain's walking me too quickly and my legs can't keep up. And, um, yeah, so that's my MS. But with everybody else, everybody I've met that also has MS, it's all different for everybody. Like some people have symptoms and then they go, they all, they just lose them completely. Like they, they get their feeling back completely. And whereas I haven't got my feeling back completely. So it just, it's my new normal. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of my story. And if anybody has any questions that they want to ask me, and feel free to comment below and I'll try and answer them. And, um, yeah, I just, it's funny, I didn't know anybody with MS until I got diagnosed with MS, and now I know lots of people, and, yeah, we're all different, and we're all, you know, we're all normal people. <laughs> well, my husband might debate that, but he thinks I'm a little bit crazy. Anyway, um, I love him dearly. So, anyway, I will leave, leave this as it is, and um, I'll be posting more crazy videos this week, and you'll be so sick of hearing from me, but it's all, it's all for a good cause, and, um, yeah. Thanks so much for listening. Bye!